Hello everyone, and welcome to Monster Hunter Frontier. You notice I've kind of boosted up my gear, got a uh, Ruka Diora Lance, and um, it just so happens that's the monster I'm going to be showing you today. This is another fro uh, Frontier specific monster. And um, this monster, I want to say hi real fast. Uh, it's a Frontier specific monster, and it is a, an Elder Dragon, uh, much like Kushala Deora, Teostra, and Lunastra. <coughs> it shares actually several attacks with Kushala Deora, but it's quite, um, how do I say this? It's quite different from the rest of the, from the rest of them, and that it controls magnetic fields around it. Um, for a good majority of its attacks, it has a new status ailment that it gives called, uh, Magnetized, and this is a little magnet symbol on your screen, or on your, uh, next to your name, and that causes you, it give, basically gives the, uh, the monster the ability to suck you in whenever it pleases. Um, in the chest we've got some basic stuff. Oh, he's lost some money. I can't. Oh, that really sucks. You see, um, supply max potions, supply life powders. All really nice to have. Yes, yeah, so this is another new area called the. Um, if I'm correct here, if I'm wrong, um, I won't really remember. But uh, this is called like the Infiltrator's Den or the Infiltrator's or base, something like that. Basically, it's designed. It's set up here to stop Elder Dragons, much like the fortress is uh, with Lash and Long and Shen Gower. Buff everybody out. Um, I my I had an attack to Oh crap! That was a really bad time to jump down. But yeah, so um, it's not doing it right now, but. Uh, you see, there goes one of the attacks. She shoots out a magnetic pulsar along the ground that erupts rocks out. And uh, as it goes into rage mode, it'll start to use two different kinds of magnet, uh, magnetism. I guess uh, positive and negative would be the best way to describe it. Positive draws you in, negative pushes you back out and cancels your magnet. Your magnet so it's kind of neat like that. He's got uh, two breaks as far as I know. One is the horn. Oh, I'm pretty sure you can break his claws too. And then uh, he's got the tail cut, of course. He's got the generic charge that the most Elder Dragons have. Maybe you play Tri will recognize him as back to the stuff from Elastrion. Anyways, he continues. Um, and as he actually goes into Rage, I think he's easy to tell because instead of being yellow, like right now, he turns red, which is orange. Now, uh, something that's really cool about his equipment is that he actually has two elements, or one as an element and a status element on his equipment. He's got Dragon Element and Paralysis status effect, so... And the blue, so you can see, uh, if you get hit directly on, if you can't turn it comes out of Rage Mode, it'll actually cancel your status element. Nice. Doesn't do it all the time, though. So. Uh, blue tends to push you away, and uh, red drives you in, but, and he'll actually use those to his advantage to suck you his own attack. Oh, you can see, uh, not all of the attacks are very, uh, you can block, uh, unless you have, I guess, assume guard up. This set, however, does not have that, so I am going to be using a lot of purchases. This is my uh, fifth or sixth fight. With this is my sixth fight, considering I failed one of them. Um, I think he's got Annihilator. Yeah, like, what, 100 rank, like, about four or five or six hundreds on there, and stuff like that. And we got owned. And this is a 100 rank 22 monster for right here. The thing I like about this fight is that, um. Get out of it. But uh, another thing I like about this fight is that the area surrounding the battlefield is actually collapsing around you as you fight this monster. And uh, different attacks of it will actually cause things to fall, and those actually deal damage to you if they hit you. And of course, he's ripping things out of the ground, like that, and using his weapons. Um, he's actually, those rocks floating around are actually, they don't do much damage, but when he actually swings them at you, they do a good amount. He just cut his tail off. He a really long reach. I've noticed since I played last, or since I made a last video, and um, this is actually I've been playing quite a bit lately. But um, the last video is that there are a lot of weapons that are really, really big. And this lance is enormous. And this is nothing. There's actually several lances that are much bigger than this. And then uh, we see the dual sword person in the uh, full blind ganga back there. We just put the weapon up. Oh crap! I'm dead. Oh no, nope, not dead. Just severely injured. That's another one of the attacks, and it's very difficult to dodge because it actually sucks. It actually is made of the red mat, uh, the red magnetism, which sucks you in. So yeah, obviously that's gonna really be a little bit more difficult to dodge. I have yet to be able to dodge without actually being right up next to the monster. Do a little 
if I didn't come through this. Sad to say, this is actually one of the better fights I've had. It might take a lot more damage than this. Oh god. Oh! Ah! Oh, there's even sometimes when you're right next to him, you can't even dodge him. It's really difficult to dodge unless you're like behind him, pretty much. Or really far away. And there's no, that's something I'm talking about when he drops on you. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Come on, come on. Alright, let's get out. Oh, nice. Thank you. Someone had life fighters. There's actually two things with supply life fighters. So, I'm gonna be a jerk here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, the wizard network. Now it would be. And you can see he does a lot of damage. This set is uh, mostly upgraded. One of the things that's different about this game is compared to the other Monster Hunters is when you upgrade your equipment, you actually need monster parts. And so it's a little more difficult to upgrade. And uh, so I've basically been farming Gogomoa. Which is almost said, uh, for about two days straight. I have killed over 50 Gogomoas. I have unlocked that title. Which is pretty impressive. No, it's something really cool. Like monsters, it's the only monster in any of the monster games that can actually still move while paralyzed. It just drags itself around in a circle using my. Yeah, this is generally a 15 20 minute quest. If you have four people left, there's going to be a lot more than that. Uh, of course, have less people. But generally, you're going to find these crap quests since it's fairly popular. The equipment's really good. There's a shiny iron here somewhere that I can... There it is. Oh, I thought it was... Oh, did it disappear? Oh, that's lame. Well, those, that's almost always a scale, and the scales are actually fairly difficult to get. Wait, what? That was weird. Like, randomly came back to this area for a second. That's really strange. Wait. It did come back to this area. What? This is... I'm very confused to what's going on. It's here, but we can't see it. Okay, now it moved area, so it just kind of glitched out there. Yeah, so sorry about that. <laughs> Heading back over there. Back in the fight. We've yet to cut the tail off, so I should probably get on with that. And also, the horn is not broken either. Oh. Uh, lock the blue blast, knock me away. Bring it on the tail, so you can't get the cut. Notice that he's really, he's like standing there and doesn't do anything. That's actually, I, I've determined that's actually not lag. That is actually him not doing anything. Because I saw people moving around and such while well, it happens. There's some first hand view of the wall falling out. Let's see back behind you. That happens, yeah. There we go, there's a successful dodge attack. Notice I didn't actually do anything, I just stood there. I am very I am very honestly have no act no clue on how to dodge. Ooh, I have, actually I haven't seen that attack before. I might be able to go rock all cars though, if I showed you earlier. Last time we had a hammer though. We don't have this time. Oh, oh crap, crap, crap. That's how you use a host and battle is Oh well at least I'm alive. Oh I'm not, oh I'm not, oh I'm not, oh There we go. Alright, back to get back. Yeah, I hope you're really enjoying this. I plan to do a, try to do one of each of these the new monsters in this video. And also um, I might, depending on how well we proceed, might use some of the old monsters as well, so for, for the ones that are fun. Uh, I was going to do an HR seventeen rock uh I'm HR twenty four from five and all. And I'm gonna do HR17 Raviant, uh, Raviante, or which is actually the biggest monster in, Mo in Monster Hunter in all the Monster Hunter games. Now the issue with that is um, it's up another time. But, uh, is that nobody actually does um, in, in this in this whole game nobody actually does the HR17 one anymore. It's entirely HR um, 100, and so I don't actually won't be able to record anything like that shortly. Couple times. Uh, now, Kinda of sad, but there it is. There's the last hit. Didn't get the tail cut, but you didn't get the horn either. It's okay. It still gives you four cards. One and then five with the tail card. And one just won't give me any rewards, which isn't that big of a deal. 
Yeah, overall, a very fun fight. Gives a good amount more hunter rank points than most other quests this level. Like, all, all the uh, well, actually, you yeah. Most of the quests that I've done to, to grind hunter rank, so I was really kind of surprised because I've just been grinding Gogamo for a long time because it gave 400. And it, this one gets 1800 hunter rank points. And it's uh, just now, actually, not even just now, uh, my weapon is still green sharpness. Yeah, so basically, uh, my equip, I'm using full Gogomo armor, no gems, nothing, just base stuff. And the, um, a not a base level one, not upgraded at all. Um, Ruko, Ruko Dior, uh, left. Can't wait to get 150 so I can get my pig. Or sorry, I can't, sorry, I can get my pig. Yeah, so this will probably be the last one of these videos uh, for a while since the at midnight tomorrow, maybe today from when this thing goes up. Um, there will be a uh, the free trial will end, and I'll have to wait to pay for it. Um, that I gotta wait for some stuff to come in before that happens. So it might be next week before I get another one of these videos out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, got a scale and two hook, two claws and a horn, which is weird. You didn't break the horn. In all the box. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you really liked it, remember to like and subscribe. And this is Gravion, signing out.